La primera pregunta va hacia los dramas. Okay. You girls ready? Okay. Your first question is, what event caused Pharaoh to realize that Abraham was married to Sarai? Okay, la primera pregunta es, ¿qué evento causó a Faraón saber que Abraham y Sarai okay. um, eran casados? Okay, and these questions are all 10 points each. So, esta listen pregunta va en 10 puntos cada uno. Okay, I have multiple choice for you. Okay, so A, A is a plague of locusts descended on Egypt. A es uh, um, langostas. B is God gave Pharaoh's chief servant a vision. B is Dios le dio a Faraón el jefe del Faraón una visión. C is Pharaoh was inflicted with oh with a with a serious disease. Okay, C is que Dios le dio a Faraón una una and D, Sarai admitted the truth. Y D es Sarai admitió la verdad. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, C, they're right. Pharaoh was inflicted with a serious disease. Okay, right. después de C, Faraón fue, tenía una enfermedad muy seria. Okay, so 10 points for the girls. <clears throat> Boys, ready? Yeah. Okay. No. All right. Um, the next question is, why did Abraham leave Canaan for Egypt? Okay, la pregunta es, ¿por qué Faraón dejó a Canaan por Egipto? It's multiple choice, so listen to the choices. All right. The choice is A, there was a famine in Canaan. Remember, get closer to the microphone, can leave. Um, B, was God directed him to do so? Okay. There was a famine in Canaan. Okay, la letra A es, había una hambruna. B, God directed him to do so. Okay, B es que Dios le dirigió a hacer eso. C, he was searching for an Egyptian maiden to have his child. Okay, C, él estaba buscando una mujer egipcia para tener a sus hijos. And D, the Canaanites drove him out. Okay, D, los cananeos lo, lo hicieron ir. You boys ready? B. B. You said B? That's your final answer? Okay. You guys are wrong? <laughs> Alright. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. You already answered B. I'm sorry. I asked you what your final answer is. You get a chance to answer? Okay. Why did Abraham leave Canaan for Egypt? A, there was a famine in Canaan. A, porque había una hambruna en Canaan. B, God directed him to do so. B, Dios le mandó a hacerlo. C, he was searching for an Egyptian maiden to have his child. C, él estaba dirigiendo, él estaba buscando una mujer egipcia para tener a sus hijos. And D, the Canaanites <coughs> showed him out. Y D, los cananeos lo hicieron ir. They said B. Okay, what, do you, what is your... Yeah, the girls are right. There was a family game. <laughs> 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 Alright, so the girls answered that question, I'm going to go back to the guys. I'm going to give the guys another chance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boys, you get another chance to redeem yourselves, so listen up. What? Yes. That's true. Why did you get another chance? Okay, boys, are you ready for the next question? Yes. Alright. Okay. Alright. In addition to being husband and wife, how else were Abram and Sarai related? Okay. En, um, no solamente eran mujer y marido, Abraham y Sarai también eran. ¿Qué parenteros? Sí. Yes. Okay, A, they were both descendants of David. A, los dos eran descendientes de David. B, they had the same father. B, tenían el mismo padre. C, they had the same mother. C, tenían la misma madre. Or D, they were cousins. O D, eran primos. They had the same father. 
All right, you boys ready? Yeah, yeah, get it ready. Ready? All right, what's your final answer? <laughs> uh, we're going to go for the last one, cousins. D. You guys are wrong again. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the answer. Wow. Okay, okay, that's it. All right, you guys be very cautious. The same father. The girls are saying they have the same father, and they are correct. The widow doing 
when Elijah came to her house. ¿Qué estaba haciendo la viuda cuando Elías llegó a su casa? A. Gathering sticks. A. Recogiendo um, leña. B. Making clothes for a neighboring woman. B. Haciendo ropa para una vecina. C. Preparing to care her last goat. C. Preparando el último... El último cabra. D. D. Singing songs to him. D. Cantando canciones y himnos. <laughs> Your mouth said he saw the movie. Okay, so A is your answer? Yes. Good job! You guys got one right! She was gathering steel. And you guys have to fill in the blank. Okay. En esta parte voy a decir el versículo y ustedes tienen que llenar los blancos. Son dos blancos. There's two blanks in each verse. Okay. All right. So you have to tell me which word go like in which part of the blank. Okay. Ready? Let no blank despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in blank. In faith, in purity. Oh, okay. 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 En conducta, amor, blanco, fe y pureza. Let, let no blame despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in blank, in faith, in purity. All right. All right, what's your first blame? What's your first blank? Uh, good job. Next. The next blank is in charity, in blank, in faith, in purity. What what goes in the blank? No, you're wrong. Okay, okay. If they answer, make, one, make it two, make it half points. We'll give you six points. We'll give you, we'll give you half a point. Now we're gonna give the boys a chance. Okay, go ahead. We're going to give you a chance to get a half a point. Say the last part of the verse. Okay, I'm going to read it again. I'm going to Six. Okay, listen. This is the next the next part of the verse. I'm going to say the whole verse, and they've already filled in part of the blank, so I'm going to let you fill in the last one, okay? Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in blank, in faith, in purity. Okay, versículo es, Ninguno tenga en poco tu juventud, sino se ejemplo de un creyente en palabra, conducta, amor, blank, fe y pureza. We said we yeah. Palabra, amor, something, fe y pureza. If you guys don't get it, we're going to give an adult a chance to answer. So, I don't know who's going to get it. No, it's not true. Okay, what adult wants to answer? Well, there we go. What was it? Spirit, yes. Brother Miguel got it right, the spirit. Well, the girls are waiting. That's all I can tell you right now. Okay. All right. The next one is for the boys. Okay. A 
Okay, this is the next verse. Some fell upon blank places where they had not much earth, and for with they sprung up because they had blank of earth. If you were paying attention in the service this morning, you will know this. Okay. Parte cayó en blanco donde no había mucha tierra y brotó pronto porque no tenía blanco de tierra. Some fell upon blank places where they had not much earth, and for which they sprung up because they had no blank of earth. Try the first part. Alright boys, what's your answer? Time's up! Is it Carol? The ringer? Okay, if you don't have a question, okay. if you don't have an answer, okay, what is it? Alright. What is the answer? Alright, good job! The boys get 15 points. They were paying attention this morning. Okay, the next one is for the girls. All right, ready? Yeah. For, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the blank of God unto salvation to everyone that's blank, to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. Okay, el versículo es Romano 1, 16. Debe ser español. Porque no me avergüenzo del Evangelio, porque es blanco de Dios para salvación a todo aquel que blank. Al judío primeramente y también al griego. Okay, it is for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the blank. Boy, if they don't get this right, you get a chance, and you're going to make it repeat it again, so listen up. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the blank of God unto salvation to everyone that blank to the Jews first and also to the Greek. Where did believe? No. They only they only got half they only got belief. So so they get half a point again. Alright, the girls get half a point. Amber. Okay, the, the girls got half a point. And then the boys get half a point because they got it. Okay. The first the first part was power, you guys didn't get that. But you got believe. So you both get half a point. Okay. Alright, we're running out of time, so I gotta hurry up, okay? Alright. Alright, so where was that? Boys. Boys. It was the boys' turn. Okay, listen. All right. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are blank, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any blank, if there be any praise, think on these things. Por lo demás, hermanos, Filipenses 4, 8. Listen, she's going to say it in Spanish. Hold on. Por lo demás, hermano, todo lo que es verdadero, todo lo honesto, todo lo blanco, todo lo puro, todo lo amable, todo lo que es de buen nombre, si hay blanco alguna, si alguno digno de alabanza, en esto pensamos. Okay. The first one is just, and the second one is virtual. Good job. <laughs> Listen up, girls. He that has my blank and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will blank myself to him. Now, this is from the Sunday school lesson this morning. Okay, in versículo 4, 14, 21. El que tiene mis blancos y los guarda. Este es el que me ama, y el que me ama será amado por mi padre, y yo lo amaré, y me me blank a él. Okay, ready girl? Yes. Okay. 
Like, commandment like is right. No, commandment is right. You didn't get the second part, so we're going to get the boys. I can't give it to you because that's not what it says in the Bible. Sorry. Okay. Okay. She said. She said commandments. So he that keeps my commandments. Y los guarda. Ese es el que me ama. Y el que me ama será amado por mi padre. Y yo lo amaré y me blank a él. Did you read it in English? Okay, listen, listen. He that has my commandments, the girls got that part, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will blank myself to him.